Hi guys, it's Grant Mullen here and welcome along to the 90 day business transformation. And today I wanted to share with you where all of this began. So at the time of recording, it is 2015. The day I am recording this is in January 2015. And I'm going to reflect all the way back today to 19. 19- 79. Now, in 1979, I was seven years old. And at seven years old, I made a decision on what I wanted to do with my life. And what I wanted to do was help people. And that was a decision that a seven year old made. So now, at 42 years old, going into my 43rd year, I'm going to share with you the book that changed my life and why, and I'm going to show you how, even way back in 1979, I learned some lessons that I still teach today in business. So the book, here is the front page, is called Doghouse for Sale, and uh, you'll see I've scanned the original book that I had. I've even gone and colored in the little dog's eyes with a biro, probably when I was able to first get my hands on a biro. So, um, yeah, I hope hope you guys enjoy this lesson as much as I do. So here we see uh, our main character, Freckles, looking very determined. And, of course, just for for a full credit, I want to give a full credit, of course, to the author, Donna Luke Papa, and uh, the drawings are by Tom Eaton, published by Firefly Paperbacks. I'm uh, using the images from this book without permission from them. Um, I'm not sure if they're still going and I have not been able to get in touch with them. So um, here we see Freckles. Freckles is sitting and he's looking at his grey doghouse. Now, quite often, I'm just going to pause there. Now, quite often in business, we see business owners turn up every single day looking at their business, but they just look at the front door and they walk in, but they don't take time to get a perspective on their business. But as soon as they do, they might look at it from a little bit of a distance and realize that things that used to look good perhaps don't look so great anymore. And we see Freckles' little birdie friend there agreeing with him. So Freckles makes up his mind. He says, I need a new doghouse, but I've got to sell this one first. Now, this is almost typical of what I see in businesses today is uh, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I need something new, but I've got to get rid of this first. It's not always the truth. That's why I created the 90-day business transformation. I'll tell you a little bit more about that towards the end. So Freckles made a sign, said doghouse for sale. He went ahead and just decided he's going to sell the business or sell the sell the doghouse. And you see his little birdie friend in the background looking quite surprised. So dogs came to look at Freckles' doghouse, and doesn't this happen? When we make a decision to move on, people start to spark up a bit of interest, and there's always an expert. No one wanted to buy it. It needs to be painted, one expert said, or one dog said. It needs to be painted. Now, I don't know whether this dog is a painter, whether he's an expert in uh, in all things doghouses, but he certainly had an opinion. And then we see in the next slide, Freckles, Listen to him. He said, then I'll paint my house. I'll paint it red. Then someone will buy it. Now, that's called um, a lie. <laughs> so we, we see this sort of thing happen in business quite often. Along comes an advertising executive and says, if you purchase my advertising, then you will sell more in your business and you'll make more money. So people say, yes, I'll spend all my money and then nothing happens at the end. So Freckles went to the store. He got a red, he got red paint and a big paintbrush. He worked hard. Soon the doghouse was painted red. It looked better. He said, so he made a new sign. Of course, red doghouse for sale. So the business or the uh, the thing for sale there has a new descriptor. Of course, dogs came to look at Freckles' doghouse, but no one wanted to buy it. One expert dog said, your house needs a new bed. I don't know if this guy, if this dog was an expert in beds or not, but Freckles, you guessed it, listened. So I'll make a new bed for my doghouse at Freckles, then someone will buy it. So what he's saying is, if, then, if I make a new bed, then this will happen. If, then. It's a very important rule that we need to learn in business. And I'll tell you more about that in the 90-day business transformation. So he went to the store to buy what he would need. 
He worked hard. Soon the doghouse had a new bed, so he made a new sign, you guessed it, for sale, red doghouse with new bed. Dogs came to look at the doghouse. No one wanted to buy it. One more expert said, your doghouse needs a window. So I'll make a window, he said. Then someone will buy it. He goes back down to the store. I love the illustrations in this book. He went to the store to buy a saw. I love that dude just staring at the at the wrench there. I used to look at that for hours when I was a kid. And um, sorry to digress, but I, I love the illustrations in this book. They're all double page spreads as well. They all flow on. If you do happen to find a copy of this book, by the way, let me know because uh, they're very hard to come by. So Freckles worked hard. Soon the doghouse had a new window. And so he made, of course, a new sign. His bird mate thinks it's pretty good. For sale, red doghouse with a new bed and a new window. So dogs came again to look at the house. No one wanted to buy it. Here's another expert. I like to think he's got a little Geordie accent. <laughs> Your house will look better with some flowers in the yard, one dog said. So again, another expert offering expert advice to poor old Freckles, who of course reacts he goes to the store, very determined. He wants to buy some flowers from the lovely young girl. And he plants the flowers around his dog house that we see, as well as some artificial turf and some other bits and pieces. Of course, he changes the description of what's now shaping up to be a pretty darned good-looking dog house for sale. Red dog house with a new bed, a window, and flowers. So, of course, more dogs came. We like your house very much, the dogs told Freckles, but it needs a fence. A fence, that's what it needs, says Freckles. He agrees. So, of course, he reacts again. He listens to what the marketplace is saying. He reacts. He goes out. He buys a white fence. He put it up around his doghouse. He made a new sign describing what he had. So, of course, some dogs came along, and in this time, someone wanted to buy it. But Freckles had a look around his house. He looked at the red paint at the window. He looked at the pretty flowers at the white fence. He said, you know what? This is not too bad. This is a fine dog house, Freckles says. I don't want to sell it. So then Freckles went inside his house to take a nap on his new bed. The end. Why is this such an interesting book to me? Well, if we took the time to have a look at our current businesses with the perspective of what they are now and what they could be, and instead of reacting to the marketplace and what the marketplace wanted first off, and we looked at what we really truly have and what we really truly offer, and we found the right segment in the marketplace, and we're able to go to that segment in the marketplace and offer what we have in the right way, for the right price, in the right timing, for the right people then we wouldn't have to listen and respond and react. In fact, what we could do is we could start off today looking at what we had and we can go out and make it exactly the way we want it. So we have a product that's offering a solution to the marketplace for more people than are going to pay a higher price for what it is that you offer. So what you really need to learn in business is the following 12 things. And I'll go through them really quickly. Number one, you need to learn your identity. You gotta learn your purpose and what you stand for, what you stand against. You need to know your values and your story. And you need to be able to have a sense of mastery around that. And then you need to be able to show why you're the expert in the market. So number two is expert. You need to show why you are the person who others want to come to. You want, you want to be able to show them why now is a good idea and why what you have is a good idea for them. The third thing you need to be really clear on is your culture. What is it? What are the stories that you create around your business? And how have you got your team on board so that you can be you and get paid? The third, fourth, that was the third thing. The fourth thing, sorry, is policy and procedure. You need to make sure that your policy and procedure is really, really clear. Number five, you're going to need a plan that's got to be able to, so you can think once and deliver often. And you know what? So that you're not doing what Freckles did before and reacting. You're sticking to the plan and you're heading in a direction that you know is right for you. The next thing you need to know in your business are clear roles and objectives. You need to know who's doing what and where and what they're worth. The seventh thing you need to know, of course, is your organizational structure. Structure. You need to know where uh, where people bleed to, because leaders in business are bleeders, and you need to be able to find whether people, your staff, your people, are bleeding up 
or bleeding down. Then, of course, you need to know the seasons in your business. We call them zones. You need to know whether you're in an, in an emergent season, a performance season, uh, a, a reactive season, or what your time management season is like. The next thing, thing number nine, that you need to know is how to test, operate, and test again so that you can replicate, automate, and deliver. You need to know the formula for sales and marketing so that you can fix everything in your business. Number 10 is you need to know the market really, really clearly, how to leverage it, how to deliver what people want and not react to what they need. Number 11 is to tweak your offer to realize what you can give away for free and what you can price at a very high value. And of course, the last thing, but certainly not least, is you need to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to sell in a way that's sustainable for your business so that you can take what you have today and make it sustainable for the future. So that's what we teach in the 90-day business transformation. So if you have a doghouse for sale at the moment and you've got a product that you know you you have great value in, you want to make it better and you want to do that easily, you don't want to take a long time to do it, but you want to learn the right way to do it, then why don't you go ahead and contact us at the 90 Day Business Transformation, and we'll send out a free trial uh, module for you so that you can uh, get comfortable with how we work and get comfortable with how you'll be able to work with us as well. There is, of course, no cost and no obligation to any of you for any of this. So if that's something you'd be interested in, we'd love to chat with you. Thanks for sharing uh, with a childhood in a childhood memory with me today with the book Doghouse for Sale. It's uh, something that's been sitting on my shelf right next to some of my other favorite books for quite a long time now and I've been wanting to share it with my audience for quite a while. So guys, thanks very much. My name is Grant Mullen. Why don't you shoot us an email? Grant at grantmullen.com.au if you would like a free copy of the free trial of the 90 day business transformation and we'll shoot that off to you straight away hope you have a great day we'll talk soon 